bicep, sweet six pack. Just like that. I'm Josh Offit, Mr. Fitness, and I'm about to, and you, this is your workout DVD series. With, it's called Getting Fit with Josh Rolfe. So I hope you buy it and it'll be a great series for you to have if you want like this. The next, this next exercise is called the pec core pull. It really works out the pecs. But first of all, you gotta take off your shirt. Makes it a lot better. You got to the desk. Put it on top of each other. And then you pull. And it really works out the pack. You pull. But if you pull like this, you can do one hand. For this next exercise, this is called the wax building. And you'll need a partner for this one. And I'm going to let him go ahead and talk about this one. All right, this exercise works the deltoids. Now, posture is very important. You want to sit Indian style, back straight. You're going to need, you're going to need your wax bucket, a funnel, and your bag of wax. Have your partner hold the bag of wax open like so. Have them hold the funnel above the bag of wax. All right, now, when you, go, when you get into the exercise, you want to come up on your knees like this. Lift the bucket to work your deltoids. And you start pouring. You want to hold this for about a 20 count. Yeah, I can feel it pumping my deltoids right now. You don't want to fill it up quite all the way. To return to the rest position, put the bucket up straight again, go back to Indian style, set it down, your partner shakes off the cup, put it back on the bucket, that's very important. Put the lid to the bucket, screw that back on, and your partner can go ahead and put the cap back on the wax bag and you're ready to go. You just got a great workout with Josh Rolfe. This exercise is called waxing. You wax on, wax off. But this is called uh, applicator advice, but I like to call it my Ghostbusters machine. Because who are you gonna call? Josh Rofi! Alright, so clearly this exercise is meant to work the tricep. Notice the smooth motion. Now, one thing that's very important here, you gotta get your wrists into it. You see a lot of people during amateur hour, they don't get their wrists in. <laughs> the key to a good workout is workout music. And my, my favorite song that I use to work out is the Pokemon theme song. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them also. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Pokemon, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, Pokemon!
This next exercise is called the Jerry Fist Ball. The Jerry Springer, it's a good show to watch. Comes on at 11 o'clock on, on 11 o'clock on channel 11, Monday through Friday. It's a good show, you guys should watch it because you can get the good old Jerry fist pump action and here's how you do it. Yet, I use the Josh Earl to get fit program and look at me. I'm the National Shotokan Champion of Brown Belt Kata. Plus, I mean, look at me. <laughs> Mr. Fitness here, and now we're about to interview the Donnie Brook Champion, Lockdown Luke Johnson. You know, before I took part of the Josh Rolfe Get Fit Quick program, I was just a mook. I didn't have a championship. I wasn't dominant, but now I'm definitely dominant. I'm the most dominant superstar there is. I'm the champion, and it's all thanks to Josh Rolfe. This next exercise is just it's just a run. So what the first thing you gotta do with the run is you gotta take off the shirt. The benefits of the shirt being off is you don't have that that, that weight carrying you down, and I mean you can just show off your body. But then the, what you gotta do with your shirt is put it on your head like that. And, and, and then while you're running, what you gotta do is if, if you see someone, like I see someone up there, I see someone up there, but when you see someone when you're running, you gotta run by them and you gotta scream in their face to show them that you're dominant. And that's Mr. Fitness for you. Go. This next exercise is, is called the window wash for the abs. But I really recommend this for women. The first thing you gotta do is take off your shirt. And then you get some spray and you spray. You can get on the ladder, it doesn't matter. And then you just wipe. Really gets the abs going. But for better effect, you put your shirt, you put your body up against the wall, window and start doing that for better effect. And just remember, send me, send me some pictures of, of you guys doing this, alright? So this exercise helps out the phalanges a little. Because, first of all, these are bunny ears. And the object of the bunny ear is to get it on someone else. And then you get it on someone else, so you get in the pit and hop around like a bunny. So here's how it's done. You sneak up. Oh shoot, you got me again, you Mr. Fitness. Now look at that. That's how you do a bunny. Well, the next part of this segment is the diet. What you gotta understand is with the Mr. Fitness DVD is all you gotta do is look at the DVD and follow the fitness and you can eat whatever you want. This next exercise is called basically a simple nap hour. There's different ways you can take a nap. You can do the stretched out way with laying on your back, or you can lay on your stomach, or you got the ball. And, and, and then what you gotta do is put all the pillows on you, bury your head in, and take a nap. For this next exercise, all you'll need is a shovel and a dead cat. It's called cat race. First of all, you can take your shovel and get it underneath the cat. Well, when it's stuck to the ground, it's a little hard, but... <laughs> Stick it underneath. 
pick it up, and there's your pet. <laughs> this really works out your, your biceps right here. Alright, for this next segment, this is called the cat toss. There's different techniques you can do with, with, with the cat toss. You can do the underhand, you can do the sidearm, or you can do the over the back, but I'm not going to do that because it'd be a little weird dead cat, so I'll just do the underhand. That really works out your quad, so it's a good exercise. If you want to work out your quad, just find a dead cat and a shovel. Now that you've went through this video, getting fit with Josh Rolfe Instructional DVD, you just gotta remember one thing. You don't need this book anymore because learning is for the weak.